What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to do this modern cube draft that fired immediately, and it's going to be sweet. And we have a stipulation from Josh Terrell himself. Super friends. Exceptions for fixing and removal. J-Link, glad you liked it, buddy. Super Fritz, I did. I just watched Mothman Prophecies and I'm there who are not sleeping. I don't remember if I saw that or not. Anyway, there's no Super Friends in here, unfortunately. So, Super Fritz with a resub. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. It's either this or this. I'm not a big fan of Fabled Passage, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I don't like it that a land comes into play tapped, whereas most of these, if we build correctly, which we have in a few times, they'll come into play untapped. Um, I want to take Woodland Cemetery. Interesting. The reason being is I like things like Vraska and Obnixilis. I feel like there are more blue planes, black planeswalkers that we'll have access to than blue ones. Oh, interesting. I, I I was thinking the other way. Like, the only Blue Planeswalker I can think of that I really even want to play is like Tefri or Jace, neither of which are super common, whereas Six Man of Raska, Obnixilis, Liliana, Last Hope, these are significantly um, more easy to attain Planeswalkers. I actually kind of like Kodama's Reach here. Still nothing, but that's fine. I'm not super worried about it yet. Um... Godless Shrine or Drown? I think it's Godless. I think we want to maximize the number of lands that come into play untapped. Like, it does feel like we're building just five color control here. Or the five color deck. But that's okay. See, this is what I mean. This is Vraska for us. Which is pretty sweet. We're having Creeping Tarpet and Steam Vents, but... I mean, we already have Woodland Cemetery and Godless Shrine, so... Yeah, see, this is why we took the wooded foot, wooded wood, wooded uh, woodland cemetery. We already have Liliana and Veraska, two black planeswalkers. I mean, we could have we could take Sahili, but I think Liliana is a solid six mana planeswalker. I did a thing today. I altered my Brea. It's now Olivia Gilbert takes Ethereum sculpture. That's actually pretty sweet, man. Oh wow! And you posted it again. Austin, take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. Salted Caramel Oreos? That sounds amazing. That sounds incredible. I just want to... Sounds caramel Oreos. Sounds amazing. No Planeswalkers here. But lots of black, white, and green cards. One Yoshitaka Amano buck. Nice. Kurt, had I known, I would have just drafted this Liliana all the time. And then I would just, you could just pay my salary. I like Electrolyze because I feel like we're going to be five colors, but maybe not. Vampire Nighthawk is actually surprising more solid. Like, it's it's a it's an innocuously solid card. I'm taking the Electrolyze. It's, it's, what, it's, it's what my heart wants. Nothing good here. I mean, I'll put it over here for now, but I don't even care about the other cards. Like, if I don't, if I take an Electrolyze, which I really like... Over something like spooky scary skeletons are coming very soon. <laughs> Please. Oh man, I love spooky scary skeletons. Oh my god. Send shivers down your spine. Actually, approach is interesting here. I almost want Razor Ridge Thicket instead, though. I think it's Razor Ridge Thicket. I'm sorry. I don't love these lands, but I think. Like, we're already having Abzan mana, so, like, it's likely we're just Abzan. Neon Tokyo Rain, I appreciate you, buddy. Oh my god, if you got an altar of me, that would be absolutely incredible, dude. That would be amazing. 
I guess it's just Soren here. Oh, this is the main. Look at the look. We're in the first pack again. Yeah, face fetters is good. Uh, Calamax is fine. I would probably, for thematic reasons, prefer a Sultai, but Teamer's fine. If you had like a, a Yarok or a, a Muldrotha. Kirby is my Sultai. That's totally fine, dude. I I I have no com I have no complaints either way. What if we just take Gristlebrand with the intention of trying to cast Gristlebrand? Oh, actually, Quarantine Field seems fine. Maybe we're just Abzan Planeswalkers. Maybe this electrolyzer is greedy. After this weekend, it seems we're like a team. We're good. That's funny, actually. Yeah, that's actually funny. It could be in uh, it could be in memory of of all the like the seven teamer decks we played in a row. Um, Forsake is fine. I like having a Forsake. I'll take Deafening Clarion. We could still be different colors. And the alternative is like Vampire Hex Mage, which I'm not thrilled about. Just put Frank's head on the snake and Mystic Snake. I could be the guy and Oh, look, the Vampire Nighthawk was probably one of the cards we were considering. Came back. Man, Wrangle's not unplayable. I mean, I do wish this was the other Soren that would plus one to make a token, because I think that card's much better. Um, and then you can have, like, Rankle, you can sacrifice the token he makes every turn. Verdant Catacomb seems great. Um, I think we'd probably take Verdant over Xenagos. Yeah, I think Verdant's probably more important, especially because we can get Godless Shrine, which gives us three colors. Oh, uh, Temple Garden. I think Garrick will probably come back. Like, I really just want to make sure our mana's good, because it's going to need to be good. And I also don't think Garrick and Orzenagos are super high picks, so I could definitely see them coming back. We do have a Grave Daddy and a Fallen Shinobi. Hissing Quagmire is nice. We have we already have Kodama's Reach, so I don't think we're going for Cultivate. Metamorph is decent. I mean, we do have Nighthawk into Fallen Shinobi, and Soren also makes two twos. I kind of just want to take Fallen Shinobi here. Hmm. Could also be Mind Stone. We have no two drops, and I assume we're going to have a good amount of four drops, but on a purely power level basis, I think Grave Titan and Fallen Shinobi are better. Is Fallen Shinobi too greedy? Maybe. Oh, God. This is actually a tough pack. Fallen Shinobi is fixing. We could hit their lands. You know what? Oh, God. No Planeswalkers. I'm taking Fallen Shinobi. Primeval Titan? Yeah, alright. You know what? I'll take a Primeval Titan. Karn and... Oh, six mana Soren? Yeah, I'll take a six mana Soren too. That's one of my favorite Sorens. Although our six drop slot is looking a little rough. Uh, Isolated Chapel, but also Ugin. And I think Ugin is probably too on brand to pass. I hope that Cultivate comes back, actually, because now I feel like we're we're in Cultivate terrible territory.
Kerwood does only make correct suggestions. That's true. I've never seen uh, uh, Kerwood make an incorrect suggestion. Fallen Shinobi should be considered power. I agree with you. Um, I kind of like Lingering Souls here a lot, actually. Especially with Fallen Shinobi. Spooky, scary skeletons send shivers down your spine. Well, Josh, you were in luck, buddy. This is a six drop city. Man, that cultivate would be great now. I usually don't like two of the same effect like that, but I mean, in this deck, it's like, well, we might just need to get all the ramp we can get. Thank you. Bloodstained Mire seems great here. Jimmy the Mole, welcome back. Thank you for the resub. I'm going to take Bloodstained Mire. So far, it just gets Godless Shrine, but it also gets us a red if we need it. Someone just started, also started a band called Fat Daddies. <laughs> that sounds like a restaurant or or a band that already exists. I also mapped out my whole Kirby deck. It's negative one, negative one food deck. Oh my god. That sounds like so much work, but I, I appreciate it. Sulfur Falls came back. I don't think we're playing it, though. Xenagos also came back. In the spirit of this deck, we're going to take Xenagos. Damnation's probably pretty good here. Actually, so is Anguish Stone Making, I think. I'll take Damnation. Oh, his thing, Quagmire and Metamorph came back? That's pretty wild. What? That's weird, dude. Weird. I kind of just want Quagmire. Yeah, I don't know. Call me crazy. Eh, Drunk's Command. That's a playable card. Beast Within is a playable card. Collected Company, probably not a playable card. I'll take the Olivia, sure. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down. I'm going to put this guy over here for now because we have no real incentive to play that guy. Oh, we'll leave Liege. But if we do play red, we can play both of these. Hmm, Ashiok I like. Inferno Titan is cool. Alright, so I guess we're just Ashioking because... Reasons. We could also a Johnny, actually. Interesting. My name is Frank, and I'm a magician. Hey, buddy, my name is Frank. I like Ashiok more than I like Johnny. Suck it, a Johnny. This is barely a Planeswalker. Plus it's our two bad colors. It might just be Arbor Elf. Oh man, guys, the Cultivate didn't come back. That's really sad. Because we do have Temple Garden, and that's it, I guess. All right. Um, could be Black Cleave Cliffs. This pack is really not great for us. Two Exodus, go to bed but also stay. 
Actually, let's probably just go for the throat. We're looking at exciting cards, but I think it's actually just a simple removal spell. Oh, Garrick Apex Predator. That's where we want to be. Also, Ral and Teferi and Chandra. Okay. Yeah, I like this Garrick a lot, actually. And if Chupacabra comes back, I'll be more than grateful. I don't think he will. Oh, look. An Abzan Triome. Hmm. Well, that's pretty lucky. Is there any Planeswalkers? No Planeswalkers, right? Abrupt Decay is cool. I'm really on ramp right now. Oh, Obnixilus. That's exactly... That's exactly why we took that Wooded Foothills. I might keep saying Wooded Foothills instead of Woodland Cemetery. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Luris gets nothing back right now. This pack's actually not that great for us. Was there a Teferi? Did I miss a Teferi? I mean, I'm still going to take this over the blue card that we have no blue, but I actually completely didn't see a Teferi. I think sometimes if they have different art, I kind of blank out. I think it might just be Fiend Art, isn't here? Ugh. It's either Fiend Art or then, like, Colgan's Command's fine. Cloud Guard Ranger's fine. I'm going to take Fiend Art then. Guys, Karanos. I actually like Sacred Foundry. We can get it with Bloodstained Mire, and that's it. Oh, yeah, the 4-mana Teferi? No, that card sucks. I hate... I don't even like that 4-mana Teferi. Like, Sacred Foundry means we can not play this, and we can add, like, Xenagos. Meh, meh. It's probably just never a turn. It's probably fine. I just personally don't like it. So that's probably just me. In fact, I I, I think it is. Uh, Assassin's Trophy seemed fine. A Johnny came back. A Johnny come back. So we have no real way to cast the Johnny or Ashiok, unfortunately. And this is the Abzan, right? Yeah. Our man is great for Abzan. No hide, you will not regret it. Oh come on. <laughs> oh boy. Oh black cleave cliffs. Okay. And if we play a swamp, then we can all or a mountain we can get it with Kodama's Reach and Bloodstain Mire. Which is probably more likely than us playing Ugin or Ashiok rather. Oh, look, a Ral. Yeah. It's probably, like... And we're not going to play double red Anger of the Gods, so... I, if that Sacred Foundry comes back, though, we're going to feel real, real good. I doubt it will, but, you know... You guys know what time it is. <laughs> oh god. Once a stream, every time. Never never fails. Thank you. Abrupt decay came back. Wow, that's really nice. Arctic Avenger with the gifted Thank sub. You. Not the plague with the gifted sub. Thank you guys. I appreciate you both. Alright, come on. Oh, Colagon's command? Wild. Alright, well, no no Sacred Foundry, so we're just going to play one. This is 24 cards. I think Fiend Artisan's pretty bad. We only have three other creatures. So now our three creatures are literally Vampire, Primeval Titan, and Gristlebrand, which is pretty hilarious. And we can also play Colagon's Command over something. Super Fritz 352. Who even is that? 
when's the next cube my dude and what is it i dude i don't even know i'm always curious before this cube even ends i'm like what's the next one when's it getting here tell me all about it with turd <laughs> what does that even mean what's happening right now i feel like colagon scan but the creature keep in mind the creature part is not relevant i think we're gonna play 18 lands and take out like dromoka's command for now because the fight aspect is not great for us oh super fritz giving a sub to the arctic assassin otherwise known as the arctic avengers uh arch nemesis so you know that's cool Let's see what our analysis is. Analysis this is... Wow, we are heavy black here, guys. I think Gristlebrand's really skewing things, though. Whatever. Add me basics. Okay, so... Let's see. One of these, for sure. Black sources. One, two... Oh, we have Gavany Township. Let's get Gavany Township out of here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven black sources. So this puts us at 11. Seven white. We have Meyer gets Godless Shrine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, 11. Okay. And green we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, eight, 11. That actually seems perfect. 18 lands it is, boys. You don't want the sweeper with lifelink? We have damnation. And I just didn't want to stretch our red fixing too much. If we need it, we'll bring it in for sure. <laughs> don't say... <laughs> the sweeper with lifelink, buck buck. Oh my god. Jaybro, man. Jaybro, how do you feel about this weekend's news, man? As someone, uh, as someone in politics, how are you, how you feeling right now? So we, yeah, is it nine? Do we have nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, we do have nine planeswalkers. That's a lot. I'm just like that. <laughs> wow. Jonathan, my dude. I'm literally like... I, I'm so anxious, dude. I'm so uncomfortably anxious. Okay, so we got a 4 drop. Two 6 drops and a 7 drop, huh? What are the odds we draw a Cultivate here, guys? Well, the 0 because it's not in your deck. Do you mean Kodama's Reach? Can someone tell me to mulligan this hand? I don't have the strength to do it on my own. Spooky, scary skeletons. Josh and Unforgiven, I'm proud of you both. I'm 100% convinced he was sick because you can watch videos like this. Hold on, let me show you. Let's see if I can get it out here. I don't know how to get it out. <laughs> Hold on. It's really... Uh, picture in picture. Oh, perfect. Here we go. Like, watch him breathing in this video. Like, this is not how a healthy person breathes. Like, this dude looks like he's in legit pain. Ooh. I also have a triome. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Spooky, scary skeletons. Oh, that was a good draw. Spirits, come back. Come on, Kodama's reach. Daddy needs a reach. That's not a Kodama's reach. It does get us our mountain, though, which is kind of nice. Uh, also, we need one more land to put our thing into play. I mean, this seems like a fine block. I don't know. This. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, these spirits are literally just buying me time anyway, so. Sure. Wow, Oracle and Oracle, huh? Spooky, scary skeletons. Skeletons all day. I actually think we're going to hold back. I'd rather have some some dudes up. Oh, Lotus? Jeez. Sasses. Gilded. Oh, uh, we do not have Thraben Baben. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so Gilded Lotus is leaving. And Delta. And you're playing Delta. And you're probably cracking it. Yep. Let's see if this stays on top like, like the bug it is. It did not. You got Free Forest. And the Golos. Seems good. Oh my god, Christopher, what is up? My dear, dear Christopher. You just have a skeleton hiding inside of us right now. That's what you think. This is actually really good. I think Vraska here, or uh, Liliana here, seems insane. He has reach. Did not. I forgot about that, unfortunately. But that's okay. We lost a card, but. Oh, wow. So we know they have Thassa's Oracle and Golos in hand. That's fine. Next turn, we can just play literally Vraska or Soren to kill the Golos. Like, we literally have three more Planeswalkers in hand. <laughs> like, one time I broke my leg playing soccer and part of my skeleton came out to say hello. <laughs> you know, when you talk about skeletons, like, they're like these independent things inside of your body, it's really kind of funny. Oh, my skeleton's coming out to say hello. Okay. Spooky, scary skeletons send shivers down your spine. So now these guys will never see. They'll never see their father. Just like Michael B. Okay, another 7 drop. Oh boy. Damnation would be just wonderful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> well, we're definitely attacking here. Arctic Avenger with the gifted sub to Kerr White. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's right. Take your two damage.
She starts at six? That's insane, dude. And we're just playing this guy, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We know they have Golos and Thassa's Oracle in one other card. Like... <laughs> Play daddy for us. Yikes. Alright. Well. Two, three, four, five, six. They only have six... Uh power here, so they can only kill one of my planeswalkers. Oh, what up, G-Milk? They put a card on the bottom. Yeah, pretty much any card that doesn't deal with Golos or uh, Gristlebrand is probably going on the bottom. Okay. That seems fine. I have Garrick to kill that. Is it going to be a Golos? Because we still know they have Thassa and Golos. Thassa's Oracle and Golos in their decks, in their hand. So... milk from G's. <laughs> yep, there's your boy. I mean, yeah, they can they can block a gristle brand. But who says I'm attacking? <laughs> I'm probably just drawing seven crads. <laughs> Monsonster, what up my dude? Good lord. He's been gone for 40 years. Oh yeah, flip that thing. Alright, so we have Thassa's Oracle in hand. That's fine. So they can only make 5 mana here. They can untap with, with your lady. Who's that lady? Oh wow! Oh, that's clever. I like it. Just want to let you know the Among Us stream was the second most fun I've ever had. That's awesome, dude. I'm really glad. Even though you try to frame me. Unbelievable. A military man, no less. Oh, they don't even come at my... Wow, that's wild. This is wild. <laughs> oh, man, Chris tried... Yeah, Chris was getting framed every game, dude. Chris was like... I think it was I think it was Nifty Chris. I guess Chris wasn't like that, but everyone else was. I feel like Damnation here is probably pretty good. Especially now, if we Damnation, we just get to kill their Cove. Well, let's see. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> yep, that'll do, pig. Because we're still making, like, two tokens. Oh, wow. So we just get to eat Nissa. This guy doesn't have Trample, does he? Never mind. I guess we do have to play something else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we're definitely we're definitely wrathing here, right? One, two. So we have seven mana, we have eight total mana, we'll have four left over. We can go up to five if we Vraska. I guess we can just Faith's Fetters. 
It doesn't stop their massive mana production, though. It's really our only option. Like, I'd love to play a Garrick here, but... Oh my god, this is so many cards, dude. Yikes. Fucking yikes. Create a zombie. Create a menace, dude. One, two, three, four. Put it on you. Uh, we played a land. Good lord, this is 13 freaking cards in our hand. One, two, three... Can I unclick this? I can't. I just I'm stuck with it. <laughs> okay. Well, that sucks. Four five. Uh, don't need Kodama's reach. Probably don't need Nighthawk. Our hand is literal one two three four five planeswalkers and two removal spells. <sighs> Seems good. We also only have 11... Oh, we have 11 cards. 11 is actually significant, but wow, that's a lot of mana. Four. For everything, yeah. Eight. Slime. Killing face fetters? I mean, that's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna Garrick and kill it anyway. Killing our red source. Sure, Vraska makes treasures. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, seven. We have seven mana. So we can just go Vraska, kill the Nyx Bloom Ancient, Xenagos. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we can just play like Soren. They have one card in our hand that we know it's Nyx Bloom or Thassa's Oracle. Sure. Uh, do we not know it's Thassa's Oracle? Did they ever draw that? They, they drew the threat. Maybe they didn't. Yeah, okay. That was... Why did you make a million for that? Cards doesn't go in your hand, right? That was a little strange. Oh, okay, they just scoot. Sounds good. See, definitely Clarion definitely seems reasonable. Man, we actually cast Gristlebrand and drew a million cards. That was rewarding. <sighs> I'm out of cookies. Life is dumb. Were they... Were they Subway cookies? Cookies! Yeah, this hand's just fine. Should I send you some cookies? <laughs> yeah, bro, them raspberry cheesecake joints. <laughs> Buddy, for my money, you're not getting better than the than the old chocolate chippers. You know what I'm saying? Give me them good old chocolate chippers. Oh, Prismatic Vista is so much better than Fabled Passage. I'll take a life to make sure it doesn't come into play tapped. Is there a chance you can find a way to get an Among Us in with all mics? Mike B, Swole Mike, Hat Mike, Kermit Mike, Katie Mike, Frank. Um, I don't know if Rob would be in. I don't think he's I don't think he's a an Amonger, if you know what I mean. But I bet it'd be possible to configure something like that. Nifty Chris is also definitely a a Mike. Oh, he he just hasn't come visit yet. Unfortunately.
Do we just get to resolve a Xenagos here? Because that seems good. Let's get Gaudy Boy. Oh, now I don't even want to play the Temple Garden. Because I don't have to. Green, red. The goose is loose. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna attack you. The goose is loose. Hmm. Oh boy. Xenagos' ramp ability is actually really solid. Like being able to just ramp two next turn and just have maybe eight mana if we hit a land, and we also have Ob to try to hit a land is pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. Our opponent's deck doesn't seem to be doing that much. Is she going to play fast as Oracle here? No, you're going to... Treasure map. You're going to sack all three of these? And play Acidic Slime? That doesn't seem great. What do you think of the Spider-Man movie rumor? Um, I don't know. I'm apprehensive. Yep, that's a sick slime. Are you gonna kill my mountain again, buddy? I have one more red card in the deck. This guy makes all the red I need. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We can play Soren Quagmire, make a guy, give all our guys life link in the plus. Yeah, let's do that. And create a token. Give them all beautiful things. This is actually nine damage. I'm definitely just getting in there for nine. And if you want to attack me for two, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Draw all your cards. I have three planeswalkers out. And we can definitely cast Ugin if Xenago survives. I don't know what you could actually play here that would deal with all of this. That's fine. I mean, we can literally damnation make a guy. Yeah, this is all fine. God, they just keep throwing away these gentlemen. Um, one, two. Is it possible to damnation and activate Quagmire and then just kill them this turn? No, because you'd have to use this for mana. So in total, we could have three, six, eight mana. We could use four for this. So then we could activate Quagmire. But that's the same as just making a guy with this. <laughs> that's a good dude, too. I mean, they're at two right now and we still have three planeswalkers yeah okay Shut up and take my money. oh okay a stip is among us draft cards that look sus like nifty chris <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i have no idea how to how to perform that oh my god a stip is among us. See, that's funny. See, that's quality content right there. Remember the time we got into the we got into the group chat, and the first thing that happened was not the plague. It was like, okay, before anything happens, I have to say this. 
I just saw Frank and he did this thing and I was like, you son of a bitch. You finger pointing biscuit. Getting Hornet Queen back here? You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, seven. There you go. We're just going to slam Ugin and kill them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, fantastic. This could not be a more anticlimactic. Eugene, Eugene. All right, that was pretty good. I liked it. A stip is draft all the cards that look sus, like Nifty Chris. Is Nifty Chris even here to defend himself? God, I feel bad for him. If you're Nifty Chris, I feel bad for you, son. You got 99 problems and being sus. It's definitely one. Eight mana lightning bolts have never been so sweet. You ain't kidding, buddy. That was a satisfying lightning bolt. I tried to do it as fast as possible because... I didn't want to slow roll. So, Baldur's Gate 3 minimum hard drive requirements change from 70 gigabytes to 150 gigabytes. <laughs> oh dear. I think like drafting clone effects and rogues and things with death touch. Okay, that's actually... <laughs> that's actually way more of a description than I was expecting. You're probably like, shit, I have no idea what that means. I'm really asking for a lot here. It's like, can you guys hear those wolves? Are they wolves or are they dogs? Oh, I kind of want to kill that. I always hope that my opponent's game plan hinges on being able to loot their shitty cards the way that they kept. Oh, like that. Wow. Rewarded? I want to play Cliffs because if we want a red source, if we draw like Xenoghost or something, we should, we'll be able to play it. We have all of these colors right now, so... I don't know why this is a sorcery. It's very weird to me, but whatever. Oh, they just conceded. Wow. Who thought who knew killing Luteral Core would actually be the game? Jeez. This is what crushing is like. keep this we can get a mountain with this which is always pleasant triumph I wish we had a blood crypt we have three cards that are double black so like not getting double black seems pretty sus here <clears throat> god I wish you guys didn't get me saying sus Soul Diviner. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go get that triome. <clears throat> oh wow, two black sources in the beginning. Cracked off a fetch. Boy, they're doing much better. See, that doesn't get us a black source, unfortunately. One... Let's get some life out of the deal. Probably getting a Goblet Shrine? I guess it doesn't matter. We have double green, double white here, so... Wow, really? 
wild. Dude, that sounds like there sounds like there's coyotes out there. It's pretty wild. It just doesn't sound like dogs. Thank you. Yurt, thanks for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Almost one year, man. We're going to have one year by the end of the year. Oh, how nice. That's fine. I'll just kill it. One, two, three. <clears throat> what is this doing in your deck? You played one instant of sorcery so far. Good night, chat. No, stay. Oh, man. Oh, boy. So I can just kill that guy with... Ugh, but he's at five, so if I kill him with Soren, then it's like... It's a whole to-do. And we're still going to just play Soren here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm like shocked at the number of things that are resolving. What are the exile? Eh, Lingering Souls, Black Cleave, Kiv Xenagos. Sure. And go for the throne two lands is actually fine with me. Dillon Mace, we played it last night. Yeah, it was banging. We were crushing all the nubs. What is this? Oh, that's good. Actually, I was the only nub there, just to be clear. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Five lands, two planeswalkers, a lingering, and go for the throat. Sleepy bits for sus boys. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Eat it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're going to help Kirby keep... God, they just keep killing my Planeswalkers. It's pretty wild. I guess we'll just ob Nixilis. <laughs> King Dee <Didi. laughs> Man, that's a Kirby reference if I've ever heard one. Well, let's not cast Damnation. Let's cast ob Nixilis. Oh, Kodama's rich. Are they just going to never return here? Like, are they just going to return and exile our return? No, they're going to play Whirler Rogue. Oh, 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 oh daddy. <laughs> Still have two cards in hand. Damnation, and then never return there, never return. I'm still fearing, like, Dragonlord Silumgar to, like, get rid of our ob and make us, give us an emblem. It's like my life's... I guess we can keep up Assassin's Trophy in response to them doing that. We only have 10 cards in our deck. We do have to kind of close out the game. Okay, that's actually pretty good.
You're counting this? Oh, it was remanded. Okay. I definitely, I'm getting some serious Dragonlord Silimgar vibes here. That's my Johnny! I had a feeling they were going to do that and then try to kill the Obnixilis. Yeah. Don't like that. Wow. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Pretty incredible. It's also pretty good, I guess. Alright. <clears throat> Probably should have kept hissing Quagmire up. So now if they have that Dragonlord Silengar, it's pretty good. But I don't know why they wouldn't have done that last turn. Yep. Okay. Still could find one if they have it in their deck. Yeah, that's actually fine. Oh, we should have actually quarantined field. I guess we still can. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So two, yeah, it's fine. I mean, next turn, ultimating Ugin is not an option because we have four cards in our deck. Ultimating this guy is an option and then just shooting them for the next three turns is probably fine. Okay. Liliana might have been a liability. Hmm. So, gain seven, draw seven. Shoot your face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can attack for six, put them to three. Well, they have no cards in hand, so they're in top deck mode. 
Oh, they're actually dead, though. If they force us to draw a card, they die. So we put them to six, and then they go to one on their turn. Yeah, they're just dead here. Wow. 4 0. Super friends doing it again. This is some major Super Friends action. I have felt satisfied with the number of Super Friends in every single match so far. Will there be another draft? Yeah, probably. We can do another draft. I was also going to play a Historic deck because I don't know what to write about. If you guys have any serious ideas about what I can write about for my article this week, definitely let me know. And it can't be anything about, like, Cube because there's just not a big enough audience for that. That game got spooky and even a bit scary. <laughs> it, you, that, that, that game definitely sent shivers down my spine. Arctic Avenger, dude, I, I literally asked him that, that same question. I'm like, how do you do this? I don't understand. Spooky, scary skeletons send shivers down my spine. I'm just, I just can't keep watching. I can't stop watching these Republican videos, dude. The scientists say it's okay. <laughs> he is going. <laughs> it's like, yeah. All right. Nice. They're all going to, they're all just going to get themselves killed. This hand seems good. We'll use Bloodstained Mar to get Triome, and then we can have Verdant to get anything else that we want. Oh, what good sideboard options. That's actually, a, that's actually pretty good. Man, I like that. Man, I thought Super Fritz was going to come up with something stupid. Not stupid, but mostly like a joke. You know, like a meme. And then he's like, here's a serious idea that could actually be pretty good. And I'm like, oh, dang. Dominaria or Catan? What does that mean? Let's get a Triome. Occasionally, I say real things. Bet, as Michael B. would say. Write how each of the color characteristic characters in Among Us... Okay, we're done. Say as soon as you're like Among Us, I'm like... Nope, this is not a real, this is not a real suggestion. This is taking so long. I'm fetching my lands, broski. Boobies, berries. Oh man, Super Fritz 88? God, he's, he's really moving up quick. Among Us Secret Layer. One card for each, uh, <laughs> each colored guy. The professor did some video where he pours his heart out about the new Secret Layer. Eh. Not a huge professor fan. I've had some weird experience with the professor in real life. Thank you. Thanos with the resub. What's up, buddy? Oh. 
Wish I had a I wish I could draw something for five mana. Um it's kinda like it's kinda like a thing for five mana. Yeah, I kinda wanna kill this, right? Like they don't get to draw the cards. Well, Thomas, what I'm saying is based on my own opinion, not not it's not just like a thing I'm I'm not just guessing. I'm not like I don't think I like this person randomly. You know, it's it's definitely based on my own personal experiences. So I could see quarantining it. Uh, I mean, I want to get rid of it. Like, white, 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 black, black. We're just getting a swamp here. It's unfortunate because we actually need one more mana to uh, actually do anything with these planeswalkers. Okay. I see. Let me hit a land so I can Soren and then just kill that Ashiok and then still keep my Soren alive. No? Okay. Well, black, green, Assassin's Trophy. Well, you're gonna counter my Nighthawk, got a mana leak? Sensor, sure, got it. This is why we led with the Assassin's Trophy. Oh, a rat? A ratty boy? Two ratty boys. What you gonna... Oh, you're just gonna counter this immediately. It's fucking amazing. Boy, a six land would really be great for us right now. Damnation would also be great. I'd be okay with that. Wow, they just hard cast a shark typhoon. Another six drop. It's interesting. Thomas, message me because I'm not sure what you're referring to. I'm pretty sure my reasons are not. Uh, Okay, well, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm a fan of that. I mean, Discord or Facebook work. Facebook's fine, too, so... Damnation? What in damnation? They got three cards in hand. Time Warp. Master of Waves. Master of... Did you see my message in general? Uh... I don't think so. Oh, look, another land. Okay. Let's go to the next game. This is how it goes, guys. It all falls apart. I want to bring this in because of the pack rat. And I want to have to, like, fight with a pack rat. Hey, spitters, how come you play so good? Um. Hmm. Arctic Avenger, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for the support, my dude. I appreciate you. This seems good. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. 
Cut four mana sword? You know what, Josh? For you? Okay. Hold on one second. So we know they have sensor and uh, snapcaster for that sensor. Oh, lingering soul seems great here. Ugh. Just repeal the token. Sounds good. Not the play. Did you see my article suggestion? No. Hold on. You don't article about the increase of fakes in the community and how to tell the bad. So I I actually don't know how to tell the bad fakes from the good fakes, and. I also don't like this isn't my wheelhouse you know what I mean so it's hard for me to be like do this don't do this because I don't actually know very well um I mean if you want to spell pierce this that's fine I can I can handle it you did not all right sounds good that's a good that's a good topic though don't get me wrong it's just not for me necessarily because I just don't have the I don't want to. I don't want to just talk about something I'm not super familiar with. Teferi. Fascinating. Give me a red source. Red source would be sweet because then we have five power and we also get a Xenagos on the board. I apologize. Why would you apologize for that? That was a good suggestion. What? That's crazy. Red source? It's not a red source, guys. It's actually a card we can do nothing with. Oh, Teferi, Teferi, Teferi. Well, we are we're already in post rotation, aren't we? Like it's standard's already rotated. And I just I don't I don't the thing is, I just don't care about standard right now, and I have no desire to talk about a, a standard format that still has like things like Omnath legal because it's just not fun, and I don't want to like get people's hopes up. And also, if I if I turn down an idea, it's not because it's a bad idea. It's just like it's not for me. I'm very specific with what I do want to write about because I I want it to be something that like that will that people will uh, resonate with. I also want to feel comfortable writing about something. Right about why you don't care about standard right now. I've I've done this. I've done this at length actually. And we're definitely killing one of these, so. Hmm. Let's kill the Teferi first. Red source. Oh wow, that was really nice. Get him.
Land. Not a land, huh? Okay. Okay. Repeal, pack rat. Let's attack first. <laughs> Redrumming Sorrow's path good. Wow, that's... Uh, let's get Damnation out of here. Actually, let's get Repeal out. Feel free to... Oh, nothing. Interesting. That seems good. Cool. Well. Man, can you imagine Soren here, though? That'd be pretty good. Two, four, six, nine. Put that to four. I probably should have taken out Xenagos instead of Soren. Just easier to cast. This is an aggressive attack when we have five power on board. Yep. All right. Yeah, Tanos, I, I agree with you. These attacks are pretty wild. I think they're gonna temporal mastery here. No, they didn't. Okay. I'm. Jesus, this is these draws have been terrible. We're playing eighteen lands, and we missed what? How many land drops, guys? Five land drops in our 18 land deck. Yep. Wow. Yep, that's going to be the end, guys. Ah, good times. <laughs> Heart Tonos. Solid. Solid. You got it. Take my Liliana. A true non-prime sub? Taunus, I love you, buddy. How are you doing, by the way? I was going to ask how the job hunt was, but I was like, maybe you haven't even started it because you don't care right now. And that's totally understandable. Being retired is awesome. <laughs> Oh, I'm retired. Are you are you planning on going back at any time or are you just gonna like take it easy for as long as you want? This is main phase Teferi. What writing concerning the micro attention spans of magic products and all the varying new types of products we just keep pushing? Um I did kind of talk about that in a set booster article actually. But also, like, I don't mind that stuff as much as most people is the thing. Like, you can play creatures at instant speed. Why would you play this now? What if I draw Damnation? Then how do you feel? Taunus with two million in the bank? That's pretty wild, dude. That's pretty insane. Yeah, all right, cool. Thank you guys for watching. Josh, thank you for the stip. Hopefully we did this justice even though we couldn't hit a fucking land in seven turns. Uh, thank you guys for the support. I appreciate it. Check out manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service. You can use the link and promo code down below to get 15% off. Check out nordvpn.org slash if you guys are looking for a sweet internet security solution. You get 68% off a two-year subscription along with one month free. A great deal. Great way to support the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.